Hello, and welcome to Real Life Perspective by a Filmmaker, and you will often hear in the film industry, image is the most that I've gotten in at Goodwill for a very reasonable price. I got these two medium-sized jackets. Maybe they're reincarnated and it's their evil twins. You don't know. But anyways, when you're talking about that, you can have some nice, really, really nice costumes that you can get for a very, very reasonable price. Um, if you guys watched some of my vlogs at the beginning of the year, I actually did one on Halloween and I was talking about getting some of these things. And I think it's just nice to kind of have an example of the kinds of things you can pick up. And I was dressed as Doctor Who because I was all into that then, which I still enjoy the show, but I'm a, I'm a big Battlestar Galactica fan right now, and Star Trek, all the goodies, but, um, and Star Wars. You guys are all excited about that? All the three uh, random offshoots from Star Wars, the originals, you know, like the 7th, 8th, and 9th, they had the random ones. If you guys didn't hear, I'm gonna throw it down for you here. So there's three random offshoots from the normal Star Wars. They're gonna have the normal trilogy, the 7th, 8th, and 9th, which are going to have Luke's kids, or excuse me, Hans and Leia's kids, and Luke is gonna be training them in Cloud City is going to be the new Jedi Temple, which I think is pretty cool. I would love to see, and I was talking to Josh about this, and I'm so, so excited for this. I would love if Cloud City is gonna be the Jedi Temple for an Empire ship to come up and have Luke run off and jump and just slow motion, go through the air, land on the top of the ship and cut it open with the lightsaber and start fighting people in the hallways. And then I'd love for him to go up top again and then have to fight Boba Fett, who's flying around on his jetpack, because he didn't die. For any of you who just kind of assumed what happened in the movie, no, he does not die. So anyways, off of that, there's also this uh, tangents in the Star Wars universe. There's three videos on top of the 7th, 8th, the 9th that will be coming out. The first one is just a random tangent after the Empire has been toppled after the uh, sixth video or the original third, which is what I like calling it. I don't like calling it the sixth because it's not really the sixth. It's the third. And the other ones are like 0 0.3, 0 0.6, and 0 0.9 Star Wars. But anyways, when you're talking about that, it's it's pretty cool. I love it. Um, the next two that are coming... Uh, oh, excuse me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Whoa, I'm getting ahead of myself. So the first one, excuse me, the first one is a tangent. It's after the empire has been toppled and it's just normal people dealing with the empire, the effects of the empire. So that's kind of nice because it's not, not the rebel force, not a big emphasis on any of the main characters. In fact, I don't even think they appear. They're just, it's within the universe. But the next two are the ones that are really excited. Josh's favorite character is Boba Fett, so he's going crazy. Is there is actually a young Boba Fett uh, video and a young Han Solo are the next two. So it's actually going before um, the original first movie. The first, second, third, before that. Just kind of their relationship before Luke even comes into the picture while he's still on the farm. So that should be pretty exciting, I personally think. But anyways, getting back on track off of the new movies that are coming out. Oh, I'll talk about that on Monday. Should I? No, I'll do it now. Spider-Man 2, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 will be shot on 35 millimeter film instead of a digital camera. Yeah, random, right? No one's used film in years because Red's come out and they've been kicking their butts because you can have the super high frame rates and all this and all the advantages of film. But it's kind of nice to see someone go dead back to film just to kind of keep it alive and show that it's really not dead and it's still a very, very good product. But off of my tangents, if you notice, I go on to tangents quite often. I just, I tend to do it. So anyways, uh, back to the Doctor Who, went on my sci-fi feel, but back to Doctor Who, I got this nice costume, which looks like so here is my Doctor Who costume. I'm David Tennant. For those of you who haven't seen the TV show, he is a British actor, so I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't seen it. But anyways, uh, glasses were cheap $10 from CVS, so they're not really related. Punched out the lenses. But I got the tie was $5. The tie was $5. I think it looks pretty spiffy. I can wear it with other things. Got this nice shirt here and this jacket which fits me like perfectly absolutely perfectly and you know it's i thought it worked quite well um you know fits me looks nice personally to my personal opinion got my uh prop here i had to make this myself out of pvc but i thought it looked nice anyways jacket i got for five shirt i got for five tie i got for five pants i got for Four. Yeah, that was pretty nice. So I stacked all this together for very reasonable price. And I couldn't find this in the time, but then I went back on one of the extra half price days and I got, wait for it, this will make some of you go crazy because you can use this in anything. This doesn't have to be a specific Doctor Who thing. Is this absolutely stunning? Trench, I don't even, I'm gonna stand on my chair here. I'm probably gonna die. Ah! Look at that. See? Right? Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm spinning. This is a rotating chair. Here are my knees. And the jacket goes down to there. So it is. It's dangerous to stand on spinning chairs for those of you who've never done it before. So. Uh, I thought it was a very nice addition, very nice trench coat, uh, very spiffy, got a nice buckle across the front, just totally tons of storage. I think it looks very, very classy, my personal opinion. It's perfect condition, honestly. $10, $10 for a nice tan trench coat to go over any sort of a suit, and I could wear this if I wanted to like work on Wall Street, I could wear that. It's, beautiful, very nice, and not at all, you know, what you expect to come out of Goodwill. A lot of people think that it's poor quality or that it smells funny or any of this. It really doesn't. It looks and feels fantastic and phenomenal. So, if you're considering doing anything, uh, you know, trying to clothe your actors to make your film look more believable, I highly, highly suggest Goodwill. And uh, what do you say on Monday? I show you how I built a sonic screwdriver. Sound cool to you guys? To go, I've had it for a long time. I should have showed you closer to Halloween, but you know, since I've had it, I've had some people ask me how I build it, and I, it was a fun build. So I'll show you that on Monday. So we'll be back on Monday, and uh, we're gonna go all Sonic on you. See you guys.